okay uh, do this problem question number one test 20 sir one okay so all of you know how to do this actually the hint is right there I mean, I didn't ask you to actually find the expected number of people who get their own hat. I also told you, you know, let XI be the indicator random variable, you know, so uh, so just use that, you know, and then uh, it's just straightforward. Uh, so are you all able to do it or do you want me to do it? Sure, could you do it once? Okay, okay. Okay, so... Uh, so let xi be the indicator random variable for the ith person getting uh you know their own hat back uh so basically you know x1 takes value one if uh, uh if individual one gets his own hat back zero otherwise x2 takes value one uh if individual two gets his own hat back and zero otherwise and so on and so forth okay uh so the total number of people who get their own hat back is actually you know sn which can be uh which can be written as x1 plus x2 plus xn right yes or no it can be written as a sum of the indicator random variables do you agree yes sir. okay now now this is actually straightforward you know uh, by linearity of expectation which we have done last last time uh, expected value of sn is equal to expected value of x1 plus expected value of xn and uh, you know all these uh, uh, xis if you see are bernoulli one by n random variables okay the reason is because the probability with which individual one will get his own hat back is one by n and that is true for every individual okay because they are symmetric okay uh, so by symmetry you know uh, they are all uh, going to they are all bernoulli one by n random variables and since they are all bernoulli one by n random variables uh, uh, the the expectation of each of them is one by n okay and there are n of them okay so you're going to get one by n times n which is one is this fine because if you just add one by n n times you will get one right yes okay uh, so th th just just very uh, uh, straightforward you know all that you have to do is just apply linearity of expectation uh, please note that x1 and x2 are not really independent you know i mean even though i haven't defined independent yet for random variables but you know i can say that you know okay let me ask you this question you know independence of events right yes okay so do you agree this is an event Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you agree this is also an event? Yes, sir. Okay. I check if these are independent. Sir, they are dependent. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so, how do you know that they are not independent? Well, you are going to figure out what is the that x equals 1. What is the probability that x2 equals 1? Okay, and what is that? It is one by n. This is also one by n. And the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to check what is the probability of the intersection of these two okay events. So, uh, so you know, uh, this is uh, a way to describe the intersection. Do you agree? You know, I mean, this is a description of the intersection. So, can you tell me what is uh, this probability? Well, how do you find this? Well, you can use this rule, right? 
yes or no okay uh, probability of a intersection b is probability of a times probability of b given a right yes or no is that okay now what is probability that x1 equals 1 well that's 1 by n now given that individual 1 gets his own hat back what are the chances that individual 2 will get it get his own hat back 1 over n minus 1 absolutely yeah, so this is what you get. And uh, you can check that this is not equal to the product of these two, right? Is this fine? Okay, so they are not independent. Okay, okay. <clears throat> 